Match is now coming up. And the first 15 seconds of the match have begun. Now, unlike an infinite recharge, there is no autonomous period, but the value of power cells is doubled. So over on the Red Alliance, we see power cells going up in the inner and outer port at three and two points apiece normally, but doubled to six and to four now. Those seconds have now counted down. Coming into the remainder of the match, the Blue Alliance currently has the lead 83 to 62 with two minutes of play remaining. Lots of robots on the field collecting power cells from the play field floor lining up for some launches is jet of the red alliance going up it looks like five for five now six for six here in our simulation we do not have a limit to the number of power cells that a robot can control so there's a little bit more scoring than you would normally see in a typical infinite recharge match just over a minute and a half remaining in the match so far lots of scoring on sides the blue alliance still maintaining a lead elfman and alex working together on the blue alliance lined up in front of the blue alliance power port going up for two and three points a piece extending that blue alliance lead a little bit red trying to catch up natick and gluten steve working together while their alliance partner jet for the red alliance down toward the red alliance sector collecting some power cells from behind the alliance station wall jet now ferries those power cells back toward the port for the red alliance and will add at least 10 more points to that red alliance score one minute remaining in the match and the red alliance has come very close to overcoming the blue alliance lead that was established nice and early in our first qualification match it looks like the Blue Alliance has scored a total of 73 power cells. The Red Alliance has scored a total of 67. Now in our simulation of infinite recharge, a slight modification is that in order to achieve the ranking point, for energizing their shield generator, they will need to score 90 power cells. There is no control panel in this simulation, so scoring 90 power cells will take care of that ranking point. Coming up into the end game, it is also worth mentioning that the shield generator operational ranking point is still in effect in a typical infinite recharge game. That is for scoring 65 points during the end game. The easiest way to do that is to hang two robots off of the shield generator switch in the center of the field. Blue and Steve doing that right now for the Red Alliance, and if that switch is level at the end of the match, they will get an additional 15 points, and a total of 60 will be added to their score with a ranking point. We're down now to the final moments of qualification match number one. Final score on the screen, Blue Alliance 365, Red Alliance 338. Those results coming up for you now. Again, our final Blue Alliance victory, 365 to the Red Alliance th eight that means that the blue alliance will get two ranking points that's for the win but the red alliance will not walk away empty-handed they were able to energize their shield generator with 90 power cells 94 power cells for red and they will earn a ranking point for them thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.